Hey everybody, this is the Gaming Golem, and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, um, I have done something pretty cool in my redstone testing world, uh, and I'd like to show you guys. So, hold on a second, I know the audio is probably freaking out, because that always happens, so let me fix that real quick. And there we go, it should be fixed now. <coughs> so let's go check what, out what I've made. So this is a customizable drum set. Um, it was, I got the idea from um, a guy named F.V. Disco. He's a very talented redstone expert. Um, I think... I haven't seen any activity on his YouTube channel for a very long time. So he might have quit or something? I'm not really sure. But anyway, he originally designed this, and I did not copy... Uh, his design exactly. I kind of just tried to do it on my own. Um, so basically, wherever you place the blocks, it doesn't have to be red wool; can be any block. Um, that's where uh, it will make the sound, and you place them in these. Only thing is, you can't place two next to each other. Like you can't place one here and place one here. That'll uh, it just won't uh, register it. Um, you'll see some of these. Most of these aren't all iron blocks. That's just because I marked some. Uh, because this that's a good beat. So if, let's if we start placing some blocks in, just kind of randomly. This probably won't be a very good drum beat, but um, oops, missed. And we go sand on this block right here. The only one that's not synced up very well is the hi hat. I got it as close as I could, and um. That's as close as I could. I couldn't get it any more synced. Um, but what you can probably tell what's going on is every time it hits the designated block, um, it fires the piston. So, for the hi hat over here, and then there's the uh, snare drum, and we got the uh, bass drum. And this block right here, I just ha this is like the perfect spot to be able to hear it and see it without hearing the piston sounds and without the pistons glitching. So let's go ahead and get rid of these blocks. Oops. Froze for a second. Is it still working? Alright, there we go. Um, so... You can probably tell what's going on. Basically, wherever the block is, it goes through a pulse shortener, and then that brings it to the designated um, set of pistons. So it's the same for each one of these. This is the... Um, hi-hat right here, this is the snare, and this is the bass drum, otherwise known as the kick drum. So, I think what we're going to do next is we're going to just test out the beat that I uh, have set up already. Oops, I have no. Oh, yeah, if you place it on, like, while the signal's there, that'll happen, but it'll fix itself. place in this beat. And there you go. There's the beat that I made. So, this is a pretty cool little machine to mess around with. Um, and if you want me to do a tutorial on it, then please let me know and I can do a tutorial on this. It's pretty easy to build. Or you can just kind of look at it. Um, basically, it's a clock circuit. Goes into these sets of um, pulse shorteners, and that leads the signal to the uh, pistons, um, and also to here. So it's a pretty simple concept. Um, if you want to try and build it for yourself? It's pretty easy. Um, so yeah, just have fun with this, mess around with it, and if you want me to do a tutorial, if you couldn't figure out what's going on in there, let me know down in the comment section below, and I will try to find the time to do that. So thanks for watching this short little redstone video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!